Okay, right, we'll start off then. Uh, welcome you all to the 20, 2024 AGM of the Well Creek Trust Limited. And we'll go through the agenda. The agenda is, first of all, to receive any apologies for absences. Have you got any apologies? You've got some apologies, John? Yeah, I've got some apologies, yeah. So I have um, Vivian, Councillor Vivian Spikings, Sean Hill, um, who's um, unfortunately passed away, and uh, he was one of the litter pickers along the canoe, along the upwell. So he, he was, uh, it was amazing, and he was, he's well known for going along on his canoe doing all the litter picking. Yeah. Uh, Alistair Chambers, Carol Chambers, Carol Mansell, and and Ken, Ken Lambard. And Hill. Yeah, and Hill, sure. Okay, yep. Thank you, John. The second item on the agenda is to receive the minutes of the annual general meeting held on the 2nd of February, 2023. I'll hand over to John to give that. Yes, yeah, so, so basically, um, starting at the beginning of the, the meeting, we had the we mentioned about the installation of a new hardwood bench at Nordelf Mooring. This was uh, organised by the WCT, and the funds were donated by Vivian Spikings on behalf of the Borough Council of Kingsling and West Norfolk. Then we had the annual spring clean, where we only had 15 bags of rubbish, which is well, well down to what we're used to. We usually get about 30 bags. So that was very, rather impressive. And I think it must be because there's more and more people now in, in the villages that are actually clearing up some of the litter for us. Um, the Trust met with the MLC uh, uh, concerning the Gladys Dack mooring. Now, the Gladys Dack mooring is in between Aqueduct and Nordelf. And basically, it was it was rotting away and we needed it to be um, taken over by the MLC who very kindly agreed to take it over and not only that, they actually then removed the wooden structure and moved the mooring onto the riverbank so we got a very nice mooring there with picnic table and everything. Then there's the uh, basically the refurbishment of the church mooring in Upwell. So we had three quotes for that and the best quote came in from JRH Outdoor Services. Um, we, the trust, applied for funding from two, um, two trusts. One was the, um, the Blunt Trust, and the other one was actually the Borough of Kingsling and West Norfolk County Community Infrastructure Levy. So that's a bit of a, bit of a mouthful there, but that's short, it's called SIL. Um, we got all of the funding from those two, um, two sources. So we was able to totally refurbish the mooring. Then the uh, Trust got, is also involved in, and I don't know if you know, all know about this, but we're actually involved in the tram mementos as well. The tram mementos that's being run by Bill Smith. And this is the tram mementos that, we're gonna, that are being um, installed in various important parts of the old track that ran from Whiz Beach to Upwell. So basically um, there was um, phase four to be installed uh, sometime last year for at the Bird's Corner Boyce's Bridge and also he was applying for another one at, for phase, f uh, phase five at the B&Q, outside the B&Q in Whiz Beach. Uh, then we got the Trust also applied for permission on behalf of Martin Scott's Children Fishing Club to extend the existing fishing platform at Lowside, Outwell, to double its length. And this is all to the fact that it's become very popular. Loads of children have been learning to um, fish there and it's been such a great success. Now we've applied on behalf of Martin to extend it again. One of the Trust's Council members, Paul at us, um, is looking was looking at the possibility of sowing wild flower seeds along the banks of the creek. Um, Paulette will be testing the soil samples to see which wild flowers would be more suitable for the high-grade soil along the banks, and will report back throughout the year 
on the WCT website and also the Facebook page. A lot of people think that it's very easy to grow wild flowers, you just throw the seeds down, but it really depends on the soil, and believe it or not, they thrive better in poor soil than good soil. Then we had the trust treasurer went through the, the annual report for the year ending the 31st of August 2022. This included the total funds of £9,268, which was net of the tram memento. If you include the tram memento, then the total amount was 11372 um, then we went through the retiring uh, council members. So we had M. Kelly, K. Lambard and P. Jetson, and they all agreed to renew their term. The chairman proposed P. Mather to join the council members, and this was agreed unanimously by all of the members at the meeting. Finally, we have the under any other business. A question was raised about the inflatable canoes and if they can be used on the creek and whether they are subject to any license usage fees. Um, a. Gullen confirmed that for now a canoe can be used on the creek free of charge as the MLC hasn't started to formally uh, charge for non-powered boats, i.e. boats without an engine. The Trust Council was urged by its members to continue to lobby the MLC for non-power bows to use the creek free of charge. And finally, we have water quality. One of the members raised the question about the water quality and whether it's safe to wild swim in the creek. And the chairman, uh, Graham Seaton, actually said that confirmed that the creek already has regular wild swimmers to no ill effect. And Martin Scott at the time also advised that the best place to review the water quality level of the creek is to go onto the Environment Agency website. Thank you. Thank you, John. Um, the next item on the agenda is to receive and consider the annual report, which I will give, and then we'll do the statement of accounts, which Alan will give. <coughs> So this is the Chairman's report <clears throat> for the 1st of February 2024. For any new members, and to remind existing members, the objectives of the Well Creek Trust are as follows. To sponsor the preservation, beautification, and public use of the Well Creek in all aspects, including boating, navigation, fishing, skating, nature conservation, village landscaping, and amenities. I am pleased to be able to report that 2023 was another good year for the Trust. The newly refurbished Upwell Church Bridge Mooring was completed fully this year with uh, new signs, new notice board and seat and was well used by both boaters and fishermen. Paulette has reported that she has sown the river banks at the mooring with both perennials and annual seeds and the results uh, were an excellent show this summer. The spring litter pick was held on the fi uh, 15th of Sat Saturday, the 15th of April, and was very pleasing to see again only 14 bags were collected throughout the villages. Thanks go to the Well Tidy Group and also litter pick throughout the year. Planning permission for the extension to the fishing platform on Low Side Outwell was received on the 4th of July 2023 but the plan has imposed a condition asking for details of water safety equipment to be submitted before the work could start. This meant that another application had to be submitted <clears throat> and a further £116 fee paid to the Kingsland Council. It was agreed in the end that we would supply two life rings and this was approved on the 27th of October, 2023. So that now means that we've got two life rings on the uh, fishing platform, which we can use throughout the whole of the uh, Well Creek, in case anyone falls in anywhere. So that's very nice to know. We still were able to, to start work <coughs> as the middle level commissioners now require a report on the environmental impact the platform will make on the wildlife. But this is hopefully being sorted out and will be done very soon. <coughs> 
the good news is that donations for the fishing platform have been received from the GoFundMe page on Facebook and a further £250 donation from the Wisbridge Lions Club. The Wisbridge World Tramway Memento, organised by Mr Bill Smith, have been progressing and Memento number no. 4 was unveiled at Voices Bridge on Saturday the 4th of November and the Memento number no. 5 was unveiled at the Helm High Road near the B&Q store on Saturday the 30th of December. Both events were duly filmed by the Well Film Productions, headed by David Cooper, and are available to see on YouTube. The boating season this year has experienced very poor navigation throughout the Well Creek, due to some boats running aground near Salter's Load, and due to the overheating of the engines caused by weed entangling themselves throughout the props. Our Secretary, Mr John Delaney, duly reported this to the Middle Level Commissioners in September. Gladdy Dax Mooring has now been fully taken over by the Middle Level Commissioners and is now fully up and running. Nordelf Landing Stage is being monitored and it is hoped to apply for a SIL grant from Kingsling uh, Borough Council to fully renovate, <coughs> similarly to the, what was done at the Upwell Church Bridge Mooring. On Saturday the 23rd of September we held our Well Creek Trust Autumn Dance in Upwell Village Hall with a buffy meal supplied by Bates, ba Bates, Bates, ba Bates Bakes Bakes What is that? Bates, Bates is Bakes Bates Bates, that's it, Bates Bates um, and music was supplied by Adlib about 80 people attended and the evening was very enjoyable this year we'll be holding a horse racing night on Saturday the 20th of April at Upwell Village Hall and all de details of the events are available from Paulette Pauli, Pauli, and us. Finally, I'd like to thank all committee members for all their hard work throughout the year and to all of you for your continued support. A special thanks goes to our secretary, John Delaney, for his work on the Well Creek Trust website, which provides so much information on all our activities throughout the year. Thank you. Now I'll hand over to Alan for the Treasurer's Report. Evening everyone. Right, first of all, um, everyone should have received a balance sheet uh, which went with the, um, the AGM notification. Uh, so you should be able to have figures, probably not with you, but um, hopefully had a chance to have a look. I'll just run through them briefly. Not, not every figure, but just a, an idea of what we spend money on. And the first thing I would like to say is thank you everyone for your support. Um, it, it's um, very, very good. We had um, £644 in subscriptions and 927 in donations. Um, some of the donations are what called gift aided and I'm able to recover from the inland revenue 25p in every pound. So I received £315.40 from the Inland Revenue for, for gift aid. Um, we had income of £600 in raffles. Again, everyone's very generous in our, uh, at our events. We had the September dance. Now one thing you might notice is that we had on this uh, particular uh, set of accounts, by the way, I just should say it was up to the end of August uh, 2023. Now the last dance, the costs and income came in either side of the financial year. So um, we got most of our income before the cutoff, then most of the costs came after. What I would say is that the, it, the event cost us about £1,300 to run and we made about £200 profit. Now that's, that's really very good because the whole idea of the dance is that's a social event and not really um, major fundraising but nevertheless, um, you know, very, very good. Uh, the big area of income this year was for the grants. Um, we received, as mentioned before, from the uh, Borough Council and from the Blunt Trust. Quite a lot of work goes into getting these grants, they don't just hand them out willy-nilly. Um, but it was for a good cause, and uh, we received 15,000 from the SIL, the King's Lynn 
in West Norfolk Borough Council and 13,000 from the Blunt Trust. And we rebuilt the church mooring um, and spent quite a lot of time picking the correct materials for a long and durable um, you know, life cycle uh, on that particular mooring. Uh, right, on to expenditure. Um, we, um, I'll miss out just the minor items. We uh, paid £204 for all hire. That's for meetings, events, and um, any, any dances. Um, we did pay out nearly £30,000 in labour and services. Most of that was for the contractor, JRH, for actually rebuilding the mooring at Church Mooring. Um, but there was also in there was planning costs, 234 for the fishing platform and £50 for the middle level permission. Um, we buy materials which um, we actually use in looking after things. We spent um, £25 on daffodil bulbs, £70 on signs for church mooring, um, we spent £65 on posts and fixings. Uh, we did erect some swan nesting signs to help protect the birds, that cost 140 and we spent £133 so far all for wildflower seeds. Hopefully that'll be something we'll be doing a bit more in the future. And finally, we spent £85 on uh, providing water at the church mooring in Upwell. So overall, um, we uh, spent more money than what we received, but that's fine because we have plenty in the balance and we don't actually need to keep a, a large uh, money pot. But we actually received altogether uh, 31,176 and spent 33,477. We still have 9,072 pounds and 52 in our accounts of which we are holding on behalf of the Upwell Tram Mementos, uh, 2,369. So for Pure Well Creek Trust Funds, we have £6,967.83. And again, I will finish just by saying thank you very much for your generosity. <coughs> thank you, Alan. Are, are there any questions on Alan's accounts? <laughs> Or are you all happy that uh, we receive them? Good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah, that's very good. Okay, item number four. Uh, each year we have to, uh, three members have to stand down uh, and to either be re-elected or to, to retire. Uh, the, the members this year that are, that are up for a re-election re are uh, Alan Gullen, Dick Godfrey and Phil Adams. Uh, I think all three are here tonight. Are you all willing to stand again? Would you like to stand again? Phil? Dick? Alan? No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can't say no. Yep. Uh, um, In that case, yes. Uh, good. Um, and I think we've got a vacancy. Is, is anybody, would anybody like to join the committee? Um, it's not very onerous. Um, we're looking for younger members. Anybody under 70, you know, really? <laughs> Uh, have we got any volunteers? Oh, no, like? Yes, would you like to come on? Yeah. Okay. Would you like to take the lady's name? It's um, Jenny Townsend. Have we got that? Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Um, the next meeting is the uh, first Thursday in uh, March, and that will be at Upwell uh, Hall. Okay. Lovely. Anybody else? Okay, we'll move on then. Um, Jenny, is it a Y or an I E? Uh, no E, just an I. Just an I. Four letter word. Jenny. Jenny, right. Oh, that's different. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> that's right. I asked. Yeah. Item number five is to appoint the accountants. Uh, our accountants are uh, Richard Wellborn, and um, Richard is uh, quite willing to carry on uh, with his services. Um, so I think um, perhaps a show of hands for those uh, that are happy with it. Well, we certainly are, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, three are. Three. Okay, that's unanimous. <coughs> and the last item on the agenda is item number six: is any other business? 
and that comes from the hall. Is there any business that anybody would like to uh, bring forward? Uh, or are you all happy with what we're doing and what's going on? Is there any chance of um, doing something about the, the parking place by the aqueduct, which is really quite um, yes. and pitted and yes. a lot of people draw up to do their inflatable... We, yeah, we have mentioned that in committee. And we are going to, aren't we? It is one that our jobs to do, yeah. Yeah, we were go yeah we're going to fill them in before, <clears throat> you know, too many boats get down there. Yep. We will do. <coughs> Give me a ring if we haven't done it, but we will. Any anything else, anybody? If there is nothing else, um, we'll have a short break. Uh, you can get a drink in. And then uh, we will be <coughs> have uh, Mr. Paul Burroughs. Chief Executive of the uh, Middle Level Commissioners, who will give us a talk on the Middle Level System, I think. Is that right, Paul? Going to tell us how it all works. Brilliant. Okay, thank you for your attendance, then, ladies and gentlemen. We'll close the meeting, or the AGM, at 7.30.